He has been fired now uh, for 10 days, and Americans still haven't heard from uh, FBI Director James Comey. He may not be able to speak publicly uh, about his firing or relationship with President Trump, but a personal friend is doing some of that for him. In this fascinating interview with PBS, this friend, Benjamin Wittes, describes that now infamous White House visit. He really wanted to kind of blend in and not be singled out, and he's a... He's six foot eight, so it's when you're kind of tough to do when that. you're six foot eight, it's really hard to blend in. He's wearing, if you watch the video of it, he's wearing a blue blazer, and he stands in the part of the room that is as far from Trump as it is physically possible to be, and also against blue drapes that are the same color as his. Um, he chose that spot. He chose that spot because it was. Uh, you know, like almost like a chameleon, uh, you know, mm. camouflaged Blend against in. the wall. If you watch the video, he extends his hand, and, and Comey's arms are really long, and he extends his hand kind of preemptively, and Trump grabs the hand and kind of pulls him into a hug. But the hug is entirely one-sided, so one guy in the hug is shaking hands. Comey was just completely disgusted by, disgusted. Uh, disgusted by the episode. He thought it was an intentional attempt to compromise him in public. Trump fired Jim Comey because the most dangerous thing in the world, if you're Donald Trump, is a person who tells the truth, is dogged, you can't control, who is as committed as Comey is to the institutional independence of an organization that has the power to investigate you. Listening to this PBS NewsHour interview, Eric, did it sound like the James Comey that you knew and that you covered? Yeah, I, I would say so. It was someone who um, is uncomfortable in situations where he thinks he might be politically compromised. Um, of course, we didn't realize the significance of uh, of, of that handshake back then, it was just a handshake uh, and maybe half a hug. Uh, now, as we realize the the obvious tension, even animosity between the two since the firing, it's it's taken on all sorts of uh, uh, of other implications. It's it's almost as if the the the, the book versions um, with with all the color and grist and behind the scenes drama is, uh, is already being written for you know the next all the president's men.